Greetings, nail peoples. Come on in while I try and get this thing set up in my little weirdo spot here in my house. Hi. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. I got lots to say today. Hi. Hello, hello. Today, we are rocking Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. And I'm having all of these emotions today, so that's why this was the cup for today. So I was like this, and then I was like this, and now I'm like this. <laughs> so it's a Mickey sort of day. I'm at home um, doing some stuff, right? And it's funny, my nickname in high school was, well, junior high and high school was Mickey. So you can imagine how many times I've said I'm Mickey Mouse. Um, so yeah, I've been doing some catch-up stuff on the internet at home today, but so I had all this other cool stuff to talk about. So I'm letting everybody get joined in here um, from around the globe. Oh, you're loving my hair today. Thank you, Barry. Thank you very much. This is what happens when I just dry it and then pull it up while it's still hot in a bun. And then I take it out. This is what I get. And I pull it back in a little clip. Hello, hello. Come on in, everybody. I'm going to let everybody get joined in before I start yammering away. Because I got lots to yammer about today. Lots and lots to yammer about. Barry, mine goes flat when I let it dry naturally. Yeah, mine does the opposite of that. It gets huge, huge, huge. So I have to blow dry it and then I have to pull it up and then it has to stay that way until it cools down. The longer the better. And then when I take it out, it just needs a little bit of touch ups and it looks like this. Well, and I have to put a little clip in and a little bit of back combing, but you know, I'm off to the shop here in a little bit. So, okay. Well, I think we have everybody in who's going to be in so we can start. It is, um, uh, oh, Lasco vinyl stencils. I use them for airbrush on nails. Yeah. See, I used to use them for airbrush back in the day too, but airbrush is really too time consuming. The cleaning out the gun in between colors and everything. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, Okay, so I think now that everybody's here pretty much, um, oh, I have this lovely glow behind me because I had to crack open my blinds. See if I lean back, you can see my blinds behind me, but when I lean forward, it's just a white glow. Um, okay, so here's been the big chatter of the day, and I wanted to make sure that I had my, um, right? It's like magic. Whatever, rain. Rain's on too. Um, I wanted to make sure I had my information right so I have my handy dandy other iOS device. So, Young Nails, are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody tuning in? Young Nails has select caption colors and stamping plates on the Home Shopping Network. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. HSN. Now, I have a thing to go on about this here in a minute. I found this out from a group. Um, so let me go into a little more detail and then I'll have a tell all about what I think about it and my whole point of view on this thing. So <laughs> shut the front door. That's funny. There's yeah, <laughs> there was a shut the front door. I think it was Bianca's nails. So yeah. And saying foot logics was on a while back too. Okay. But so let me just get this out here first and then we'll talk about some of this stuff. So it is a young nails lacquer kit. It's got three polishes. Let me see if I can pull this particular one up. It has three polishes, the new clear 
caption stamper and two art plates. So they've got it broken down by, let me go back. They have uh, the dream catcher, off the grid, wonder wall, escape artist. They also have the top coat and base coat duo. And they have the on to the next cream nail polish remover that I talked about a little while back. Now, let me discuss something about this. They are on sale on HSN for $39 for the three polishes and the stamping kit. The you get so you get the two plates, the clear stamper, and three polishes, and they're pre-selected colors. So like Dreamcatcher has it looks like a blue, a gold, and a pink. Off the grid has a red, a yellow, and a black. Um, Wonderwall has it looks like a blush, a red, and a gray. Escape Artist looks like maybe a dark purple, a bright purple, and white. And that's it. Okay. The problem is, is that it's $39. Caption, um, Young Nails, Young Nails Caption. No, that's the thing, Bianca, is they're really not. Because it's $39 for three polishes and two stamping plates. Well, our cost on the stamping plates is $18.50. And the, our cost on the polishes is $6 each. So when you add up six plus six plus six, plus the price if we nail pros want to buy the new clear stamper, plus the $18.50 for the plates, um, it's right about, so for U.S. here, it's right about $38, $39. So this is essentially what we would pay for it. Um, yeah, your Cosmo store just told you she saw it on HSN. Yeah, that's where I'm looking at this, this on is hsn.com. Uh, no, the plates are eighteen fifty for the two plates and then, you know, the little box that it comes in. Um, okay, so, oh, I need to turn off my notifications. Um, the clear stamp will be in the next kit of four colors, plate, and clear stamper. Okay, but see, that's my whole point, though, is that, dang it, I need this, there we go. I need to turn off my notifications. Okay, um... Yay, hello, Marley. Okay, so, but here's my problem with this. If you look at the other things on the site, they have the new OPI Alice Through the Looking Glass collections, but they're selling the bottles of polish for $10, the glittery things and stuff for $14.95, um, the duo packs for $17.95 for OPI. Um, the Young Nails Caption Base and Top Coat Duo, they're selling for $20. So that actually is closer to what we would retail it for. Still not quite, but closer. And they're selling the On to the Next Cream Polish Remover for $5.95. And I just bought it at a show for $2.95. So $5.95, six bucks is about what I would sell it for. So my problem really lies in, I don't have a problem with the caption nail polish being on the Home Shopping Network. I got a bit of a problem with the stamping plates. So... But that leads me to the next phase of what I'm saying, which is something that was going on in the conversation on the, um, yeah, the stamping plates, that's too far. Um, this is something that was going on in the conversation on whichever group it was I first saw this in, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait until Nails Over Coffee today. So Andrea's calling for a boycott, and she's our slick poor girl, so that's something. But so here's the deal. There are consumer customers, there are professional service customers, and there are us professional service provider customers. Yeah, right, Andrea, you bought hundreds of dollars. But just you guys listen, okay? I want you to listen because I don't want this to go off on like a whole half cocked thing because this is different than 
that other fiasco we dealt with, okay? There are consumer products and there are professional products and there are professionals who buy products, okay? So we have to make sure that we're categorizing, categorically categorizing um, this properly. So here's the deal. The biggest portion of the market, way bigger than us, way bigger than we'll ever be, is the consumer market. That's why, thank you, Andrea, just as categorized, um, is the consumer market. Elaine Watson was right when she said that that's 80% of the market, and it really is, and that's fine. Now, there was some conversation relating to how we can take advantage of that through like the Jelly Pop Nails DIY bar inside their salon um, or things that can, you know, we can be retailing so we can compete with Sephora and Home Shopping Network and all that kind of stuff because our clients are going to come to us before they go elsewhere. But this is the thing that we need to realize is that there and that the product manufacturers need to realize. Yes, there is a consumer market and that's a big market. And as a marketing professional, if that's the market that you want to sell to, especially a consumer product, liquid and powder, gel, other nail enhancement products, and gel polish, you, you, you better be professional grade because if you are cheap enough that you can sell them in a drugstore, then you probably have a crappy professional product that none of us are using anyway. If it's liquid and powder and that kind of stuff. Okay. So, um, right. Like the stamping plates, you know, um, if you want to be, if you want to be consumer, then go be consumer. But understand, this is for the manufacturers out there who are listening, but understand that professionals who want, that we want not only professional quality products, but we want professional products that are high end. So that means that even if they're being sold through other outlets, they're only being sold through high end other outlets. I understand it's hard to run a company when in these in this market in these days when you are professional only professional only that distribution channel is hard to support and i get that so we as nail techs need to be retailing in our salons if you want to support a professional only brand, then you need to not just be buying the professional only brand to use in your salon. You need to be buying the professional only brand to retail in the salon. That's how we become a bigger market. That's the way it used to be done. Your clients are going to happily pay the markup if they can buy it, we're a right now society. They trust you, you have a relationship built with them, and if you can deliver the product to them in their hot little hand right now, they're going to pay you the markup for that. Now, what the product companies need to consider is that if you decide to go mass market consumer. And when I say mass market consumer, I made, yes, there's lots of money to be made retailing, Charlotte. That's why Sephora and Ulta and drug stores and cosmetics counters at department stores, that's why they're in the game. They're in the game of making money. And there's lots, lots of money to be made in retailing. It's a good added bonus to you can only do so many hours in your chair. It's a way to make more money off the clients that you have, and it makes your job easier because they're taking care of the products at home. And this is all into my in my intro to retailing video on the University of Nails, which is up there for free. Actually, it's on the homepage for free. So, um, yeah, Barry, I'm retailing Dottie Oil, and I've sold 20 in a month. Right. So, okay. But... 
But here's the thing, nail product manufacturers. I don't mind, and I think most of us don't care so much about when you are selling a consumer product. And make no mistake, nail polish is a consumer product. If you're selling a consumer product via your own dedicated website, via a channel that you can control, even if you're doing it through the home shopping network, but do it at the retail price we would have to sell it for. Don't undercut us. And if you go to the drugstore and uh, Walmart, um, CVS, Walgreens, and the other countries, whatever your like drugstore market is, if you do that, do that knowing that there are going to be professionals that drop your brand. And that's fine. You're now entering a bigger market and you're still going to make tons of money. But then stop expecting us to pay for education classes for you. Stop marketing to us altogether then because we're out. We're done. Stop wasting your money on ads in Nail Pro and Nails Magazine because a high-end spa or a higher-end mid-range to up nail service professional is not going to sell products that can be bought at the drugstore. Why? For an image. It's not professional DIY products are never going to put us out of business. And I'm really getting sick of hearing that. So people stop. You, if you aren't making money as a nail professional, it's because you're not, there's something about your business that you're not running right. If you're not making money as a professional because of DIY nail polish people at home, then there's something wrong with your business plan and your marketing plan. And we can fix that. But there's so there's there's always going to be these consumer products and that's fine. Consumers um, you know, have the the ability to polish their nails at home and that's fine. Um and that's totally cool, but um, we can fix that by using University of Nails. That is correct. Um, so Bianca says, I hate that they offer the same products we are using to brand ourselves and retail to clients. Again, I don't mind the same product thing as long as they're not undercutting me on price. Yes, for example, if I was trying to sell Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, clients would think I'm silly. Correct. And Charlotte agrees with the Join University of Nails. Right, nothing wrong with Sally Hansen, but that's my point. So I'm going to use the example of Essie. Essie was a pro-only brand for a really long time, and it's a decent polish. If my clients were polishing their nails at home with Essie, I wouldn't have a problem with that. And they've got a huge color range and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. But I'm not going to use Essie in my salon. Because it now looks like a drugstore brand and I can't retail it at a price where I can compete with the volume discounts that the mass merchandisers get. So, I want to state that I said that this is why I've been hesitant on the caption thing. Um... Young Nails never did get back to me after my second email. Nail product manufacturers, you need to understand that we as professionals are not stupid. We're doing our homework and we're kind of getting pissed at the lack of transparency. I asked if Organic Nails in Latin America and Young Nails was the same company. It's not that hard of a question. I just want to know who owns who, right? I don't care. Um, I don't care. It's just, y'all need to wrap your brain around the fact that apparently if some of you would take international marketing, like I did at the University of Washington, if some of you would take international marketing, you would understand that we live in a global marketplace now. So I think they're probably pulling everything off the shelves because they're trying to change their distribution channels. Um is why I think um, Bianca just brought up, that's why they're pulling everything off their shelves. I think they're in the process of a transition 
But here's the thing. The lack of transparency just pisses people off. So just say, yeah, we're organic nails in Latin America. We're young nails in the United States. We're young nails in the UK. We're whatever. Greg Solo's passion in Germany. You know what I mean? Like whatever, like whatever you are, because this is a global industry. We have global consumers. We have people buying stuff off AliExpress. If you want people, pros support pros. If you want people to buy from you, you have to trust them. If you are going to buy clear nail stampers off AliExpress for a dollar fifty, um, and try to sell them for nine ninety five, you're ridiculous. Buy them for a dollar fifty, and make them a three dollar thing that you're hoping your regular customers ordering are just going to throw into their cart. Because the extra dollar fifty is worth not having to do the hassle of AliExpress. Come on, product companies, you've seriously got it to get it together. So this is why I have said, after all the research I've done, they left German salons alone after closing the German online shop. I don't need such a company. Fair enough. So here's the thing. I am going to be investing in Dazzle Dry. And I've spoken at length with the owner, Vivian Valenti. Um, they won't say because organic is more pricey. I don't know. I thought it was about the same when I did the, the um, currency conversion. But um, so here's the thing. Um, I've spoken to the owner of Dazzle Drive, Vivian Valenti, Dr. Vivian Valenti, at length, ad nauseum about this. And Vivian is currently waiting for the rest of the stuff to go through so that she is able to sell in the European Union. You can order Dazzle Dry right now from wherever you would like. You just have to understand that it's not certified European Union yet. It's getting there, but it's a long process. And again, just like you guys have to be patient with me and the University of Nails and the time it takes me to do stuff because I'm a one-man show, if you want a company that is committed to professional only, we as professionals need to be a little more patient with them, which I am happily willing to do with Dazzle Dry. So on the note of Dazzle Dry, I um, have a press release that I got from Dr. Vivian, as I like to call her, um, that is talking about, so I've been hinting around at stuff for months, and I still can't go into detail, but because of this press release, I actually can give you a little something, okay? So, um, just listen in, Charlotte. You're going to love it. Um, so Dazzle Dry is introducing a new mani-pedi line that will complement their, um, oh, all right, well, bye, Marley. Um, you have to watch on replay. Um, is in, they're introducing a new mani-pedi line of hand and foot products with launch of the first product. So this one I can talk about. This is the nail and cuticle oil that has been reformulated to be vegan, light, non-greasy, proprietary blend of 19 plant oils, rich in skin identical ceramides and membrane phospholipids for naturally advanced hydration and protection. Okay, um, pure antimicrobial and aromatherapeutic essential oils absorb for calming, de-stressing, blood circulation, and antiseptic benefits. Okay, I've sent this product for testing with my most picky Dottie oil user, and she loves it. She loves it better than Dottie oil, so I'm getting ready to have to order more. Um, but here's the thing. So Dazzle Dry, this I can now say. On a side note, I can tell you it's awesome. Yeah, I saw that. Yay, we have another University of Nails member. 
uh, Radiance by Raytia. Um, is now a University of Nails member. Okay. The Dazzle Dry Mani Petty line will continue to roll out many additional vegan products during the course of 2016. Stay tuned to upcoming and ongoing news and professional reviews. So here's the skinny word for word on the Dazzle Dry Nail Lacquer System. Okay. It includes nail prep, base coat, lacquers, and top coat. There's 190 some odd colors now. Dazzle Dry is in a nail care category of its own as it's the only polish that air dries rock hard in five minutes with no UV LED light. It's 100% vegan, non-yellowing, and free of any harmful or reactive ingredients. And its proprietary flex technology, trademark, enables lacquer to bend, expand, and contract with the natural nail for extended longevity of wear and no more lifting from exposure to moisture. Now, and it's also nutrient enhanced to help strengthen natural nails with regular use. That is from the Dazzle Dry, um, there we go, there's the press release right there. It can be better than gel polish. Um, so I reached out to Dr. Vivian, that's okay, you're forgiven for being late. I reached out to Dr. Vivian about this because I've spoken with the director of education for um, Dazzle Dry, and um, she said that they will never be mass consumer market. They're not interested in that distribution channel. So while you might at some point in the future see them as in somewhere like Whole Foods or Nordstrom or, you know, Dillard's, those kind of high-end places, higher-end places, and not undercutting us on price. They focused on the large spa format salons um, first because it's easier to sell higher volume that way, and higher volume means more money for growth. So, um, they went, Dazzle Dry went with the large format spa and large format salon market first, um, as a way to grow the brand. And they do sell Dazzle Dry on DazzleDry.com if you don't want to carry all 190 something colors. So you're carrying Dazzle Dry and one of your clients wants a color you don't have. You can send them to DazzleDry.com and they will pay retail price for it. Okay. But that's the thing. I have gotten a firm commitment. Bye, Colleen. I have gotten a firm commitment from Dr. Vivian Valenti that as long as she owns the brand, it will not be available in drugstores and all of that other distribution channel stuff. So, okay. Block user. Um, yeah, got rid of the troll. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. We will look into that because a company that's small like this, right? We had a troll wanker in here. Um, a company that's small like this is much easier to deal with diversion than a larger company because they can keep track of where the mass volume order is going. Okay, we have a Dazzle Dry rep on here. Oh, looks like it is Miss, Miss Vivian. Um, we sell only three police kits plus one color retail. Okay. Fair enough. That, and see, I don't mind that because, again, that's that whole, I think what's more important than the, that it's available to consumers, never individual colors. Thank you, Miss Dr. Vivian. Um, I think what's more important than that a product is available to consumers directly is the channel and the price point, all of the other things about the marketing plan to get that product to consumers. I don't care if Dazzle Dry is sold at full retail price 
in the large salons in my area and the spas. I don't care if it's sold in Whole Foods. What you do is you just dazzle dry just sets a retail price. This is the retail price. And so if they sell it to Whole Foods or Nordstrom or whatever, at whatever price break they decide to give them for being such a large volume order, those companies are still required to sell it at the set retail price, which means we're also required to sell at that set retail price. But again, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. So we need to understand, and I've seen a little bit of blowback from um, Elaine Watson taking Nail Liberty Take Two wraps to what looks to her Nail Liberty celebrities. Um, there are people who've looked at it and said it looks more like a multi-level marketing um, scheme now, which I've always said is a valid distribution network. There is nothing wrong with it. But again, you have to decide how you view that. And if you feel like that's something you could take advantage of in your business format. So for example, when I stock my retail cabinet, I'm going to stock it with makeup erasers. I think the makeup eraser cloths are the most like amazing thing. In order to get the price, I'm gonna have to sign up as a consultant, but I haven't found anything that works better and is just as cool. So I'm going to sign up for that and then I'm going to buy them and stock them on my retail shelf and I'm going to sell them for the retail price. That's fine. And again, there is a market for take two. It's not a wrap. Um, for people with home use, your occasional clients, the same people who would buy polish. Um, now they can buy a take two set, a couple of sets instead of some base coat. And they can do it that way if they want and get longer wear out of it. If you put dazzle dry over take two, I mean, let's, I don't know, put one on one hand and one on the other and see how long they last in comparison. But if you want to sell take two wraps in your salon, then yeah, sign up as a sale celebrity and sell them in your salon. That's totally an acceptable business channel. If you want to have set up a DIY bar in your salon for your clients, if you want to put a floating shelf along a wall with three bar stools and um, clients come in and they check out a base coat and a top coat and they pick out a polish color and they pay you 10 bucks to sit there and polish your own their own nails with your stuff, well, fine. Then it's an extra 10 bucks of money just sitting over there on the side that you don't have to do anything for. If you've got the space for that, that's a great way to maximize some square footage that's not going to use in your salon. Um, the same way retail can. These are all very valid ways of making money. They're all very valid business plans. But, but we need as professionals to focus on our professional business and using the professional products that are in line with the rest of our brand image. It's that simple. My clients don't know that I carry young nails stamping plates. They don't care and they couldn't care less. I have two bundle monsters, two Mo You Londons, and four caption art screens. My clients don't care. I could throw all of my art stuff in a little box and make it all pretty and pull it out and pull out some random stamping plate and pull out Sally Hansen polish or whatever, whatever, Mo You London caption, whatever, which is precisely what's going to happen with my caption polishes now, by the way, as they're getting pitched into the nail art box. Um, my clients don't care. They don't care. So um, we're never going to be able to truly stop diversion. But I think our clients look differently at products that are available on Amazon versus eBay versus, um, especially for polish or gel polish. Like if you want to be a gel polish brand, Sensation Nail, Red Carpet Manicure, all that kind of stuff, If you, and make gel polish, right, but those were professional, they were claiming to be professional only, but were on eBay, Barry, that's different. 
Now, if you want to be that gel polish, like I said, Sensation Nail and Red Carpet Manicure and all that kind of stuff and sell in the mass market stores, knock yourself out. I'm just not going to use you in my salon. And so don't get pissed when I don't go to your education stuff. Okay? You have it one way or the other when it comes to professional products. You can either be professional and be professional in your distribution network, okay? And I'll offer professional education, which is severely lacking in our industry, and professional training and all that. Or you can go be consumer driven, but understand the channels you choose as a product are going to make a difference in your professional market. So if you want to sell polish mass market, but all the rest of your products be professional only, I personally don't have a problem with that. But don't expect me to use it or sell it in my salon. It's that simple. So I thought maybe when we had the CND fiasco that some other people would have been paying some attention. But apparently Young Nails missed CND fiasco day. So maybe I ought to send them a link to that video that I've taken down, made it private, so that they can see how pissed off professionals get. We understand you have to make money. We get it. Um, the clients don't have our knowledge. They are not interested in the kind of product only good nails. Correct. So we're going to talk about this some more. Send them a link to University of Nails, right, Rain? I'm going to email them. Go for it, Bianca's Nails. Um, what's going on with the creative play polish is it definitely going to be mass market um charlotte that's what i've heard i have i don't have confirmation yet when i get confirmation i will let you know um but so we're going to talk about this in the free webinar on sunday i have on the university of nails homepage, the public homepage. um there is now in bright bold red letters across the top of the page where you will see the link go live for the webinar on Sunday when I go live. And I will have the chat window open. We're gonna talk about salon success strategies. I have a PowerPoint presentation even. Um, and I'm gonna have the chat window open and then we're gonna stay until we answer all the questions and about the salon success webinars. And then I'll make the link to sign up for the webinar series live. It's in the system, it's just not live yet. And, um, you know, we're going to, but we're going to cover some of this stuff in the salon success series and, um, how to deal with it and how to position yourself appropriately and how to choose products and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm going to get out of here for today. If you are unhappy with Young Nail's decision to sell products on HSN for the same price we pay for them, then I would strongly encourage you to reach out to the company and tell them that's no bueno. You, um, I can tell you, Greg, if you're watching this at any point, I can tell you that I was about ready to replace shellac with caption conversion and the caption polishes. I'm not going to now, at least not until this is resolved one way or the other. I am going to spend my money on pros support pros, um, right? Um, Bianca's Nail says, I think everyone who is in the Chicago class should email them, right? Um, yeah, make your company, you know, and to all of you product companies, I'm available for consultation. I have private consultation contracts. I can help you stop screwing this up. So feel free to email me um, off the University of Nails site and I'll be more than happy to talk to you or reach out to me on Facebook or whatever. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about a consulting contract where I can set you up a marketing plan that you can fix this problem. If you actually want to fix it, it's fixable, but you need to fix it. Um, you know, I think that, so I'm still using shellac in my salon. Um, 
I haven't bought anymore, but I'm still using it because I'm going to use what the rest of I had and they fixed it. They recommitted to shellac being a pro only product. They're not so great with diversion. I'd like if they were better. But as far as gel polish goes, they're the best option I found for me. I do have another brand. I have Cuccio Color Veneer. Um, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. But if you want to be pros, support pros. Support companies like, I have a commitment that Artistic is going to stay professional only. So Artistic Rock Hard Gel, Artistic Color Gloss, all of that. I have a commitment from an educator inside the company that their plan is to stay professional only. I know you love it, don't you, Barry? I have one color. I love it. Um, I have confirmation that um, LCN, that um, Elegant Glass Nails, that um, Dazzle Dry, as long as Dr. Vivian owns the company, she said it will be um, not targeted directly to consumers in a cheap manner. Um, I have not gotten a response from Accents yet, but I would assume they are pro only and continue to stay pro only just because they're a gel line. Um, right? Artistics Pro Only, Fist Pump. Um, there are some lower price products that are trying to remain committed to the professional and come up with new things. Um, the CYO gel is um, doing something that's kind of a hybrid distribution between pro only and consumer like Elaine's doing. Um, they're kind of doing a halfway thing. And so I have a promo code. I need to look up. It's S P U S P U G H nine, five, three, two, I think is it that if you go to cyogel.com and you enter in that promo code, you get 20% off what you order forever and they're targeting nail pros and they're backing up their product and they're coming up with new techniques. They've got a pour over thing. That's a lot like the slick pour thing, but you can use any powder to do it. Um, and it uses CYO gel, which is gel based instead of, um, slick pour is cyanoacrylate based. Um, there's, there's so much to this industry. So nail pros get crap together and support professionals. But at the same time, understand that products like nail file, anything you would retail to your clients is a consumer product. So now you just have to choose a little differently. And companies, marketing plan departments, PR departments, communications departments, get your ish together, okay? Get your ish together. Pay for a professional to, or somebody who was a professional, to do your marketing strategy, okay? Get it together. And we need to be a little more transparent because nail pros are talking to each other all over the world and we're getting a little sick of the Oz who's behind the curtain action, okay? So just cut it out. It's that simple. This does not need to be that hard, okay? You guys seriously make me crazy. The internet is real, right? <sighs> yes, nail pros are standing up, Barry. That's important. And yeah, we actually talk to each other, right? <sighs> the comments going this. Stop <laughs> Stop doing us over. I wonder if I could do that in a British accent, Barry. Stop doing us over. Is that close? Um, I'm ordering directly from a producer who produces famous brands, no marketing, right? Yeah, I mean, we have to understand you guys as nail professionals that the easier it is, I did good, um, not too bad. Um, I didn't train so hard for them to give my stuff away to skillless people. Right, so, but we as nail pros need to understand if the easier it is for us to get a hold of it is the easier it is for the consumer diversion black market to get a hold of it. So, ordering directly from your authorized 
professional only distributor. Barry, I snorted laughing and did that accent and woke John up. Whoops. Sorry, John. Good bird accent. I could have fooled you. Woo! All right. I'm getting it. I'm getting, get, I'm getting closer. Oh, you're on your headphones, right, Barry? Because it's late there. So throw that gelaze in the rubbish bin. Anywho, um, so I've got to do a Welsh one. I'm going to have to just hang out there for a while before I can get that down. Um, okay, so we need to understand, like for Dazzle Dry, I can get Dazzle Dry from DazzleDry.com and set up a wholesale account and have buy Dazzle Dry wholesale and sell Dazzle Dry in my salon. We'll see, Rain. Um, sound a bit like you, Charlotte, right? Finish the broadcast, that accent. Yeah, we'll see. Um, ah, I binned one in front of a client yesterday as it peeled off itself. Ugh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, but see, a rubbish bin, not a trash can. That was just for you, Barry. Um, right? She was impressed, right, Barry? So... I have to go to DazzleDry.com and I have to register and they verify I'm a wholesale person and then I can buy wholesale and they ship it to me. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I know I'm nuts, right, Barry? Um, same thing, you know, I order Tammy Taylor nails. I order it from Tammy Taylor nails. I order Masterworks. I order it through a Masterworks authorized educator distributor. Mutts Nuts is great in British slang, by the way. Okay, the Mutts Nuts. <laughs> I don't think I should be saying that on a family show, but. Um, so, again, that pros supporting pros. Yeah, we don't have that saying. Oh, there's lots of the, the dog's bollocks and things like that we don't have over here that I think are just amazing. So, um, you guys, we need to get our act together. The mud snaps is my fave. You guys are funny. So I'm going to get out of here. Um, I don't know that I'm going to end the broadcast in all the way in, a what I perceive to be a British accent. Yes. I said dogs bollocks. I did. Well, all right then. Time for me to drink my cup of coffee. British Scottish? Yeah. Apparently it's a blend. I don't know how the Australian and UK actors come over here and, um, and do American accents. Um, I, I don't know because when Americans try to do British accents, we suck at it. Um, I know it's kind of hard. Good job, right? <laughs> I'm a funny one. You guys are funny. All right. Ta-ta for now. Ooh, you'll do an American accent for us tomorrow, Barry? Everybody have to check out Phenomenales Periscope because tomorrow she's going to do an American accent for us. Okay, now I'm going to have to practice my British accent. All right. Um, kind of Cockney Essex in West Country. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. I'm out of here with my West Coast U.S. accent. Um, make sure you email Young Nails. Make sure you email your distributors, you know. Let them know in your product manufacturer companies. Let them know what you want. Um, you know, I don't blame them going where the money is for a consumer product. But, you know, they're going to have to make up their minds. So, <laughs> I did and gave them hell. Yes, you did. Oh, I love you too, Charlotte. All right. Yeah, they gave you 80 pounds free and went in the bin, <laughs> in the rubbish bin, the voucher did anyway. Um, all right, you guys, I'm out. I got to go to work now. I got to go do some nails. So I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta for now. For my Spanish people, hasta mañana. Hasta luego. Yeah, hasta mañana. I won't see you later. Uh, sayonara. Um, uh, guten Tag. Um, auf Wiedersehen. Yes, auf Wiedersehen. Um, <laughs> auf Pocahontas, right? 
All right. Bye, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Farewell. Oh, and there's a new blog post up that you can share on the University of Nails Facebook page. So go look at it and like the page.